Hello friends, here we are, the end of lesson number 10. What a blessing it has been this week. This week, we have been reminded about the need to stand firmly grounded in Jesus and his love for us. We have known that we are deeply loved. We know that we are valuable to him. We know that we are precious in the sight of God. And like Moses, we too are least deserving of the grace of God. And yet, he gives it to us freely. He has loved us at our worst for always with no string attached. He grants us more grace so that we can also be gracious to the least of these. You see, the highest evidence of nobility in Christian is self-control. Think of that for a minute. Nobility in Christian is not ranked honor, worldly pomp, or circumstances, but it is self-control. The ability to control one's passion, to maintain a calm and a trustful spirit in the cruel world. Meekness and humility are often equated with weakness, but they are far from weak. In fact, it takes strength to be meek. Jesus was a perfect example of strength in meekness and humility. One of the most powerful examples of Jesus' meekness was his prayer on the cross for the people who crucified him, were mocking him. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Dying on the cross, Jesus showed grace to those who had mocked him, who had condemned him to death and put him on the cross. Suffering, the greatest human agony, he did not respond with anger and curse at those who were mocking him. Rather, he looked to God and he prayed for them. He entrusted his spirit in the hands of God. And when he died on the cross, it was not only for those who loved him. He died for all humanity, including those who persecuted him, persecuted him and killed him. What a powerful testimony of a life of strength and meekness. And that is the nugget. Thank you for studying with me this week. Pastor Bob is back next week with lesson number 11. God bless you. We will see you next week. <music>